Luster Cream, the shampoo of the stars. Yes, the majority of the top stars of Hollywood, with the most beautiful hair in the world, use Luster Cream Shampoo for their glamorous hair. Arlene Dahl, top Hollywood star, wants to talk to you about Luster Cream Shampoo. When you're in pictures, you often work under conditions that are unkind to the hair. So I must use the very finest shampoo to keep my hair soft, fragrantly clean, and easy to manage. That's why, for me, it's Luster Cream Shampoo. Yes? You're so young. Well, you're so beautiful. Pardon me, sir. You made a drama? Oh, yeah, yeah. You're Sally Ann? Uh-huh. Well, won't you come into my parlor, ma'am? Go on. Pour out your bitterness. I drank it up in buckets of sweet wine. Tell me about the women that went with the wine. They were all called Madeline. They had your eyes, your mouth. The same false smile. Tell me more. Make me jealous. They even kissed like you, with soft, warm lips. Like this. showed yourself like this before. I was afraid to. Afraid of the man? No. You. Why? Why me? Because you want me most. <coughs> Let me go. <laughs> we reached Savannah. <laughs> I know. And that means that very soon it will make a report to your mistress. All right? Let me give you something good to report. Very fine report, Dr. Morales. Very fine. Oh, everything starts from now, from this moment. After we're married, we'll remember how this is, and... What is it, Jeff? Hey. I can't marry you. Why not, darling? Why not? For a moment, I... I forgot what I am. I can't ask you to share my life, I. I've nothing to give you. Nothing but your love. Yes. My love, always. You know, I'm beginning to understand why your husband has been so successful. Some companies seem to regard the wives as liabilities. Some wives are. Only if they're married to the wrong man. Any man would be the wrong man for some wives. Then he would be the wrong man for that wife. I know we're dancing, but isn't our conversation getting somewhat circular? <laughs> Did you say your name was? Gloria. Well, go away, Gloria. You're not my type. I'll get Bella. <laughs> you did. I did the best I could with the equipment I had. Number one was for laughs. Sam, I've got to go. Well, 
Kathy. Don't touch me. Why, you stupid old fool. Don't you see, Pa? She's made a sucker out of you. Out of both of us. Well, you're nothing but a ch... Number four was for real. What happened to you, Kathy? What stopped you loving like everybody else? We've all got some love in us somewhere. Who killed it in you? Who cut your heart out? <laughs> You can kill somebody with that thing. <laughs> you play rough, too. I told you we were the same. I should have skipped Dr. Mapes weeks ago. Come here. Go take your swim. Cool off a little. Just a little. your government property now, and uh, I wouldn't want those horrid little men in trench coats running around after me. You suppose uh, Leslie would give me a government pardon? Well, I uh, think by the time Leslie discovered I was missing, you'd be saved by the statute of limitations. Do I detect a wounded male ego? Not wounded, uh, deceased. Oh. Well, Doris, uh, what are you doing here in Washington? Oh, I live here, darling. My main offices are right here. I just stopped by today to say hello to Leslie. Now, who ever would have thought my roommate at Radcliffe would one day become president? I know. You're telling me we love you so much. I can't believe we it. We can't conceal it. it at all. We love you so much. It's the one. 